up stuff and I pooped a little. If I can jump on an alligator, I can absolutely knock it out. Now, I know it's very hard to do such a thing. I think it is. But <laughs> given the right opportunity and the lack of tools at hand, I think I can do it. Like if I were in a boat that I could stand up in and there were an alligator right there, I, I think I can absolutely jump on it and force its jaws show closed. That's the thing, you gotta keep their jaws shut. And it's very easy to do so. It, it really is very easy to just jump then, off the boat that you're on in the middle of the lake and then you see the, uh, the alligator. Yeah, and then you start whipping it around, you hit its head yeah. against the tree and then its head explodes. That's classic. Yeah, yeah, that's. Classic. I think I, I I read that in like a. That's how like that's a, how you deal with like polar bears and alligators and most deadly creatures in the world. Yeah, oh, I read that too. Actually, was that Mad Magazine? Yeah. First, uh, uh, Nickelodeon Mag. I thought it was Discovery. That, that might have just been me. Angry Man Comics. <laughs> Angry Man Comics. Is that real? Um. You know. Alligators are ornery because they have all those teeth and they don't have a toothbrush. It's disturbia. It, like, do you know how much tooth pain they've got to be in? Oh, yeah. Infections up the wazoo. Pull up the mouth, but... Yeah. How much their amygdala is gone out of honor, gone out of whack. No, I think what you're talking about is the medulla oblongata. Yeah, that one. Yeah, sorry. They have the birds that clean their teeth, though. Oh. How do birds clean their teeth? They like pick their teeth clean. Yeah, like, you a, know, like, like a, um, a flosser pick, like the dinosaur picks. I mean, I don't know. I've never had it what, done. What's that kind of bird that like has like the super long beak that has like the tongue that sticks out? It's like that. So hummingbird. Yeah, the hummingbird flies <laughs> I think down. It's bigger than that. It flies down to the crocodile. A crocodile <laughs> or alligator. <laughs> open its mouth and then just. <laughs> With the tongue all, all up on the plaque and the teeth, <laughs> it uh, it's pretty effective. Gets rid of gingivitis, most definitely. Gin it's getting rid of the red hairs on its teeth. Gingivitis. Yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> oh, I oh. thought that's what you actually said. Not oh, like it was Kev. a joke of me. I definitely didn't say gingivitis, Kev. That's kind okay. of embarrassing, dude. Yeah, that's kind sorry. Of I'm sorry. I feel like I'm being gaslit right now. <laughs> no. I want a bird to clean my teeth. Yeah, yeah, I think, like, you know, like, the water pick? That's... Yeah. Science got its inspiration from the, uh, the wood, uh, the, uh, hummingbird and the, um... Alligator? Yeah, that, that whole situation. I'd be situation. brushing my teeth at least one time a week using that method. So the hummingbird, like, does it just take the water out of the pond and spit it at the alligator's teeth? Well, the important thing... Because you said the water pick. Yeah, it has water, but the important thing is the tongue action. Oh. And it's like wrapping around the tooth and really just getting in there and, and clearing the tooth. Yeah, it uses its massive cheeks to blow on. The water pick only reaches about 35% of the effectivity of the hummingbird. Should I get a hummingbird to clean my teeth? I, I think there's laws against it. Did you know the Government. hummingbird only uses 7% seven of its mind and it's doing all of that? What could it be capable of doing if it could use 100% cleaning probably more talking. teeth? <laughs> cleaning more teeth. <laughs> There's an industry behind this. <laughs> We're, we should get a bird. Big hummingbird yeah, is trying to keep us down. Especially with that cat you got. Uh, she'll leave it alone. She'll be afraid of it. Afraid of the bird? Yeah. What kind of... Do you want to get, like, a huge parrot or something? Like an ostrich or something. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, to clean your teeth with its giant pecs. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's an emu. Ooh. It's the Ooh. same thing, isn't you can, it? No. I know it's a species different, but, like, isn't it basically the same Big thing? Big bird, I think yeah. the emu is larger. Just barely. But... And also, like... I think it looks different. Yeah, of course. Like, and when uh, when the birds are done cleaning your teeth, they look at the camera and they go, "It's a living." 